the last six months we've seen across all industries, and healthcare is no different, an uptick in divestitures, carve-out acquisitions, spin-offs. And we know that acquiring a carve-out can be a highly value-added transaction. Yeah, they can add tremendous value. And, and in, in many cases, they can add uh, just as much, if not more value than a full asset acquisition. But they're very, very complex. So what should buyers be aware of? Yeah, well, simply put, if you're buying a carve-out, what you're going to get isn't, isn't entirely clear on day one. As a result, companies don't fully integrate until well after day one in a carve-out. Whereas when you buy the full asset, one of the value levers that you have to accelerate speed to value is to integrate as soon as possible. So what are the differences from a full asset acquisition? Yeah, simply put in a car you got to keep the lights on on day one. And in a full asset acquisition, if you just let the business run the way that it was run before, it won't break. In a carve out, you're not getting the full asset. You're not getting all the systems. You're not getting all the people. So you can't just leave it alone. You've got to figure out where do you have gaps that you have to fill on day one? Where do you need to pull it into your systems? And where do you need the service agreement from the seller just to keep the lights on on day one? And only after you have that figured out, can you, can you do the full integration later? So if you find yourself thinking 2021 deal activity is really busy, that's because it is. And that's likely to continue through the end of 2021. You know, top healthcare companies can and should leverage strong M&A capabilities to take advantage of this increased activity and drive differential growth. Yeah, it's not slowing down as, as far as I can see. And the only thing I'd add is I think companies that have a playbook for how to do a full asset acquisition, the ones that are gonna really be able to take advantage of this can take that playbook and tweak it for carve-out acquisitions, divestitures, and spin-offs.